If you are a athlete, fitness buff, someone who's just getting into fitness or trying to lose a good amount of weight, knowing about your RMR is gonna be really, really important. So I wanna show you how to get an actually accurate resting metabolic rate. And I'll also show you sort of the free way of doing it. Here on the screen, I have basically a actual resting metabolic rate analysis. This is something that you can basically get done in your area. Effectively, if you want an actually accurate test about your RMR, this is the way to do it. We've all used the online calculators, which I'll talk about in a second. But the problem is, is that those calculators don't take into account our individual phenotypes and how our fat and muscle present themselves. You know, they don't take into account your personal metabolism. If you're particularly athletic for your demographic, those calculators are going to basically calculate incorrect values for you. Basically, to get this test, you can just look up RMR test in your area. The one that I've gotten it at is body spec, but you can just look up, you know, they're not always everywhere. So you can just look up, I don't know, if you're in Michigan and get a provider. So Dexafit does it as well. The test costs about 75 bucks, which is a lot, but I think it's important to do like once. And then you can kind of have that data for a few years or at least until you've put on a lot of muscle or lost a lot of muscle and then your RMR will change. And I know I'm throwing around this word RMR. For those who don't know, basically RMR just means resting metabolic rate, which which is how much energy you burn by simply existing. If during the day, all you did 24 hours of that day was sleep on your bed, how many calories are needed to power, you know, your bodily functions. And that is really helpful if you subscribe to calories in calories out, you'll know exactly how much food to eat if you are trying to lose weight or how much food to eat if you're trying to bulk and gain muscle. So this number is super, super important, but most people don't realize that there are actually tests that will test this for you in a really accurate scientific way. So this is what the test looks like. You are basically chilling, relaxing, and you're breathing through a tube for about 20 minutes. And what this process does is it basically analyzes your oxygen consumption and the composition of your breath when you breathe out. That basically through some calculations can tell them exactly what your resting metabolic rate is and how much energy you're burning just during those 20 minutes that you're sitting there. So this kind of $75 test is the real deal. If you were to go into a lab, they would pretty much do this. This is the closest and most accurate test you can get to your resting metabolic rate. So let's take a look at what this analysis even looks like. What kind of data do you get from it? This is pretty much it. This is the output that you get. So let's kind of analyze what this is telling us. The first thing that you'll see on the screen here is this box here, which is what you burn. So your numbers are gonna be kind of baked into the graphic. So here, these are my results from um, a few years back. Uh, and this is telling me that my RMR is basically 1440 calories. It's estimate for lifestyle and activity, you know, walking around, answering the door, going to the mailbox is about 432 calories. And then it's assuming that I'm gonna get about 180 calories of exercise. Obviously, if any of these assumptions are wrong, you know, if I'm a waitress during the day, then, you know, my lifestyle and activity might be a little bit higher. Or if I'm strength training a lot during the day, again, my exercise should be higher. This is kind of the magic number, your RMR. And then you kind of change the exercise and the lifestyle and activity values to match your lifestyle. And then this tells you basically, yeah, how much you should eat to account for what you burn. Traditional calories in, calories out is if you eat how much you burn, you will maintain your weight. Let's say I have a 2000 calorie maintenance rate taking into account lifestyle and exercise. Then if I eat 2000, I'm maintaining my weight. If I eat less than 2000, I'm reducing weight, leading to fat loss. And if I increase it, I'm gaining weight. Again, this is all if you subscribe to calories in, calories out philosophy. So the test will basically calculate how much to eat if you want to maintain or lose weight. So now kind of check out this section here called how does your metabolism compare? So I actually really love this section. What this section does, is it compares your metabolism to basically a typical person of that, you know, sex, height, age, etc. cetera. Uh, and it tells you how fast or slow your metabolism is. So obviously if you have a fast metabolism, you need to have more calories to maintain your body. And if you have a slow metabolism, bad luck, you can't eat as much. Your body can thrive on less calories. So for me, as you can tell, I'm pretty much in the normal range, if not a little bit higher. What this is affected by is obviously genetics, but also the amount of muscle that you have, amount of strength training that you have. If you are super athletic, you're definitely gonna be in the faster range of things. But this is a really cool awakening of, hey, like actually I cannot blame my metabolism on me being fat or not fat because it is normal. And it's kind of nice to have that accountability of who to blame. <laughs> it is me that I need to blame. That's pretty much it, right? That's what you get. And it's not a lot for $75, but I 
think it's worth it because I think it's really important to have accurate data. If you don't have the data, there's really no place to start to improve. But if you don't wanna shell out 75 bucks for this test, what I would recommend is to basically go online and you can just search up RMR calculator. The one trap that people fall into is they'll just do one of these calculators and they'll kind of go off of that number. But if you are gonna use this method, the best thing to do is to actually do at least five different calculators. Do this calculator, do this resting metabolic rate calculator. Personally, I would do five to seven and then average that out. And that'll be closer to what your actual RMR test is. And the reason why is because all of these different calculators are using different formula. What they're doing in these calculators is they're basically looking at past studies of populations and then they basically segment those populations into you know your age your gender your your height and then they form generalizations about what a person's rmr is given those characteristics and they've kind of extrapolated a formula from that what that means is if you're the average person this will work great. You know, if you're not the average person, which is always a possibility, you know, this might not work as well. I have two friends. One of them is incredibly tall and very muscular, and this is probably not going to work well for him just because he's incredibly muscular. You know, I have another friend who is just a pure athlete. And again, this might not work as well for her. That's kind of why I'm a fan of just getting a test once every four years or something. You get the actual numbers and then you can kind of use these calculators in between. But yeah, so just be aware of that. So you don't really know which formula it's using. So you don't know if it's using the Mifflin formula or the Harris Benedict formula. So it's good to just do 10, get a, a variance with samples and average that out. That's that. That is the cheap way of getting your RMR numbers and the expensive but accurate way. Okay, in the comments, tell me if you guys prefer getting the like actual test and shelling out that money or just if you prefer doing this calculator method. I'm kind of curious what the group preference is there. Hopefully this was helpful. Check out our other fitness videos. I have one on like accurately measuring body fat percentage, which I think is so important to do. That's that. Thank you guys so much. You guys are amazing. Please like, subscribe. I'm a small fish in a big pond. It helps so much. Anyway, thank you. Peace.